fact for those of you who don't drive a truck or know somebody who drives a truck or anything like that um, I would have to say that a good majority of the time that there is an accident involving a semi to a degree one degree or another the semi driver is held accountable for that accident regardless of the actual circumstances when a semi driver is involved in an accident we have up there a ua cup that he has to almost immediately within provide first, a sample within 12 within 24 hours i have to go pee in a cup yep. regardless whether it's my fault don't matter i have to go pee in a cup yep and his logs will be inspected as well the last seven days of my driving gets immediately confiscated inspected gone over with a fine tooth comb here here's the thing if they find anything wrong it don't matter what it is anything wrong with my logs in the last seven days that accident automatically becomes my fault like if i'm sitting at a stop sign completely stopped legal somebody runs into me not my fault but if they find something wrong with my logs it becomes my fault because i falsified my logs and i shouldn't have been there is the way they look at it if my logs are wrong i'm at fault period yeah. and to be clear he has to log pretty much everything that he does from picking up a trailer, making sure that he enters the correct trailer number, to every time we start moving, making sure that it's on the drive line. Every time every I get fuel, I have to log in that I'm on duty, not off duty. Anytime I do something in this truck, it goes into that magic box. If any of that is wrong, or if I try to, if I change something and it, can, it ends up being wrong, right. I'm at fault. So my first question is, do you think that's right? Because I don't. I, I believe that we should be held to a higher standard because we are driving a much bigger vehicle. But if we're sitting, as an example, if we're sitting at a stop sign, completely legal, and somebody just runs into us, there is no way that that is my fault. There's nothing that I could have done on my logs to prevent that. So then my next question is, if... If you have a highway accident, somebody sideswipes our truck, for example, and he has some error in his logs that is proven to be a falsification, but I can prove that the vehicle that hit us was watching YouTube when they did it, should it still be our fault? We pass cars all the time. They'll have their phones up on their dash, the one she's seen this morning, it was up where the speedometer's at. He was watching YouTube videos driving down the road. Yes. Um, just, just a couple of questions for your day today. What's your opinion on that? And a third question would be then, you know, th they say don't text when you drive. I know nobody's ever put up a sign that says, turn YouTube off when you drive. I really don't feel we need like to start holding people accountable for not having common sense. It's that simple. You have a wreck because you're watching YouTube. Well, the law never said I couldn't watch YouTube. You're a dumbass. That's common sense. Yeah. How do we fix that? As as a trucking industry, their fix for that in a lot of situations is to put cameras in the truck. Most cameras, or most trucks these days, come equipped with a forward-facing camera. So, if there's an accident, there's an automatic recorded event. A lot of the bigger companies are starting to go to inward-facing cameras. And that can be viewed a couple of different ways. One, it kind of removes liability from the company and puts it on the driver. Which is not entirely a bad thing. Right. But However, you have people like us we live in this truck. This is my home. This is our house. Now, the argument is behind the seats, that's the house. This yeah. is the office. And that's fine. And that's fine. But where some of these companies are having issues is they are also, one, recording audio inside the cab. Right. And two, they, they as a company can remotely turn the cameras on anytime they want. Right. Is that, that right? Is that right? But it also, 
it is designed to prove that the driver is either doing what he's supposed to and paying attention or not doing what he's supposed it's to like and not paying attention. Right. Cameras in the trucks are designed to protect the driver. The problem became when all these money hungry dumbasses out there decided we can use that footage to prove the driver was a fault yeah. or prove negligence of some type. Distracted driving is the biggest issue the truckers can deal with. And, right. and that anybody deals that with. Anybody really. deals with. Technically, if a police officer drives by, sees her holding that camera, I can get pulled over and ticketed for distracted driving. Yep. That's how it works. That's the that is the standard that I am held to. Yep. Anybody out here in these regular cars and trucks, they're not held to that same standard. Nope. They can video I chat on all lose my license and livelihood like and livelihood yes. because of distracted driving literally for sitting here talking to my wife how do we resolve the issue of you know guys watching youtube while they're going down the road causing you know incidences on the road i know a lot of car manufacturers have done things like adaptive cruise and lane departure sorts of things where it auto corrects your path but why are we removing more responsibility from the everyday driver instead of the cell phone companies or you know the, the technology manufacturers installing software that would prevent the phone from being used in any capacity while it's moving? I cannot use Transflow while the vehicle is moving. My phone senses that we're moving down the road. The app recognizes that. Why can't cell phone manufacturers just put that in their phone to begin with? Yeah. You cannot use it except for phone and for navigation. Hands-free only phone calls and navigation. Yep. And navigation only if it's been activated prior to motion. Right. If the vehicle's moving, you shouldn't be able to do anything on your phone except make a hands-free telephone call. I know they're. I know they have the capability. I have an app that does it. Yep. So why don't? Why aren't phone manufacturers held to that standard? Yeah. So, what do you think? Give us your honest, unvarnished opinion in the comments below.